The world's population is set to swell to 9 billion by 2050, with 70% of people living in urban centers. To cope, cities will have to become smarter. Today, Singapore is arguably the closest example of what the smart cities of tomorrow might look like. To compensate for its scant natural resources, Singapore has embraced the smart city model with a combination of modern infrastructure and innovative implementation of technology, including digital mapping. At Pictay Asset Management, our thematic investment strategies, drawing on global megatrends, identify and invest in companies that can help shape the future. Here on Orchard Road, Singapore's main shopping street, you can see examples of how our invested companies are impacting the day-to-day -day lives of Singaporeans. The security camera ahead, for example, not only helps police protect citizens, but gathers data that will help urban planners model crowd flows. Not all technologies that contribute to the efficient, sustainable management of the city are visible. The traffic system to our left is part of a sophisticated network of digital cameras and sensors, using real-time data to enable the local authority to vary the level of the congestion charge, helping it to regulate traffic flow and reduce pollution. The Park Royal Hotel on Pickering is the creation of Singapore-based architects Woha. They have long been advocates of the ultimate green city, one that has more vegetation than the original land on which it was built. Here, the curved sky gardens, draped with tropical plants and supporting swathes of frangipani and palm trees, have doubled the green growing potential of the site. The trees and gardens of the hotel appear to merge with those of the adjoining park, as one continuous sweep of urban greenery. Singapore has no land to grow crops, so feeding its inhabitants is challenging. The city's first vertical farm, Sky Greens, offers one solution. Designed by a local engineer, the simple but effective system features rotating stacks of planters. A pulley system passes crops through sunlight. Feed is introduced to the planters to increase yield, while netting structures protect crops from insects. A more advanced solution involves no soil at all. Upgrown farming company, working with US firm Bright Agrotech, provides vertical, indoor, soilless farming across Asia. This is their test lab, where they develop techniques to increase crop yield. A special mix of plant feed is drip-fed to the crops through a network of hydroponics. UV light simulates 24-hour sunlight. Computer models control both the nutrients and the light to enhance the quality and yield of the crops. Transport both defines cities and is defined by them. Trains, cars and buses have each led urban revolutions. Electric and driverless vehicles represent the next wave of change. In Singapore, it's already started. The cars you see here are part of Singapore's fleet of grab-and-go electric vehicles. Together with Newtonomy, grab-and-go are trialling driverless cars across the city. An even bigger urban revolution could happen if cars become truly autonomous and shared, available only when needed. Large plots of land now devoted to parking could be put to better use. Lower travel costs would make transport systems more accessible to all. Roads could be further freed up by airborne delivery drones. A whole new infrastructure would develop. Here we are at the PUB New Water Plant. In Singapore, delivering clean water to its citizens was a challenge. The city has no natural springs and is surrounded by sea. But now technology is helping Singapore generate its own water supply. Xylem, a US water technology company, has developed a UV water treatment process that Singapore uses in its new water production. Sensors deployed across Singapore enable the PUB both to monitor water quality and to detect leaks. Limiting water loss from pipes, a major challenge in any urban environment, is critical in Singapore. 
The water supply is monitored 24-7 in Vicente's control center, which collects data from the smart water grid sensors in real time. This enables engineers to take swift action if there's a problem or water pressures change radically. Out on the water, we can see the Mer Lion, Singapore's national symbol. It represents the city's origins as a fishing village. Once called Temasek, Singapore means sea town in Javanese. The village is now a distant memory. This is downtown, the financial district, overlooking the harbour. To the left, we see the dominant Marina Bay Sands Resort, towering over the city. We end our visit at the Helix Bridge, a feat of engineering inspired by the structure of DNA. In the distance, we see the Marina Bay Vista, the city skyline. Singapore has a well-founded reputation for innovation and offers clues about how the city of the future will develop. We hope we've shown you the importance of thematic investing and how ubiquitous global megatrends are. Such investments are unconstrained by geographies, indices or industry sectors. The world is changing. Shouldn't your investments change too?